Hi, welcome to my second tutorial on logarithms. Now, in my first tutorial I showed you the definition of what a log was. The log of any number, n say, in a particular base a was equal to x. And that's because a to the power x equaled n. And, for example, this can be demonstrated as the log of 9 in base 3, it was equal to 2. Why? Because the base 3 raised to the power 2 gave the number 9. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is just introduce you to several well-known results and rules that we use in logarithms. We use these rules to simplify answers. Now, what I'm going to do is not prove these results, but I'm going to verify that they work on the calculator here. If you want a proof, that will follow in a, another tutorial. OK, so let's just start then by taking the first rule. Now, the first rule is the log of any number, let's call it A, in its own base, always equals 1. And that's because the base a raised to the power 1 always gives the number a. I'll demonstrate that on the calculator here. For instance, if we took the log in any base, let's say base 8, and we took 8 in here, so we're doing the log of 8 in base 8, what do we get? Well, we get 1, which clearly verifies this result over here. If I took logs in base 10, that's just pressing the log button, this is in base 10, I type in 10, close the bracket, the log of 10 in base 10, what is it? 1. So you can see that this rule appears to work. Let's introduce you to another rule. Here we've got the log of 1 in any base is 0. Why? Because the base a raised to the power 0, anything to the power 0, is always 1. So again we could verify this. The log, say, of 1 in any base. Let's choose, say, base 4. So we'll put in 1 there log of 1 in base 4, press equals 0. Alright, the log of 1 in base 10 is 0, and so on. Now the next rules that I want to introduce, there's three of them here, we'll put them down just like this. Now you've got to learn these rules. And this first rule is that the log of any number plus the log of any other number in the same base, I've called it C, is equivalent to the log of A times B in that same base C. And the second rule is that the log of any number, A, minus the log of any other number, say B, in the same base C is identical to the log of A divided by B in the base C. And the final rule here is the log of A to any power n in a particular base C is identical to n times the log of A in base C. Now what I'm going to do is just verify that these results work for you. Let's for instance say that we had for the first rule, we'll clear this screen, let's suppose we had the log, this is working in base 10, the log of say 8 plus the log of 2. Okay, what is the log of 8 plus log of 2? Well, we'll press equals and we see that it is 1.20411. OK, I'll just put that down there so we can remember that. Now according to this first rule here, the log of 8 plus the log of 2 in base 10 should be the same as the log of 8 times 2 in base 10. 
in other words the log of 16. So we just type in the log of 16. What do we get? The same answer 1.20411 as we had down here. So you can see that it appears to work then. Now to verify the second rule, let's just remove that. Suppose we had the log of say 8 minus the log of 2 say. Okay. Let's see what that equals. 0 0.60205 and so on. So according to this rule, the log of 8 minus the log of 2 in base 10 would be identical to doing the log of 8 divided by 2 in base 10. In other words, the log of 4. So let's type in the log of 4. Log of 4. What does it equal? Aha, uh -huh, 0.60205, same as what we had down here. So that verifies that this rule is correct. Alright, we'll just rub that out. And for the last rule here, the log of anything to the power n in a given base is identical to n log a in that base. Let's just have a look, see if it works. Okay, let's take, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll use this button this time. Okay, we'll change the base from base 10 to another one. Let's say we'll do base 5 and we'll look at, say, what can we have? 4 to the power 3, so we'll do 4 to the power 3, 4 cubes, there we go. Alright, let's see what that equals. So 2.5840 and so on. So according to that rule, the log of 4 cubed in base 5 should be the same as 3 log of 4 in base 5. Let's see if it comes to 2.5840 and so on. All right. So we'll just clear that down and we'll type in 3 multiplied by and then we'll look at the log in base 5 of 4. Okay, what do we have? There you go. 2.5840 and so on. Same as what we had before when we did the log in base 5 of 4 cubed. Okay, well, that brings us to the end now of this tutorial, just showing you these basic rules that I want you to learn. And in my next tutorial, what I'm going to do is do a few worked examples using these rules on simplifying logs.